from the athletic. Uh, just so far, uh, after your first few days of training camp, what do you think about your fit in uh, Stan Van Gundy's offense and how different is it than what you were asked to do last year? Well, the actions are different. I think um, communication has been really, really good with Stan. Um, he's definitely saying everything he needs to say from a player's point of view. Uh, he puts himself in the player's spot and, and um, think of everything that they're thinking of and try to communicate to us that way. Um, every action we will go through, what we'll be thinking about, uh, so it's no confusion going on. So. Um, my transition with him has been pretty easy. Um, he's communicating with me, telling me where to be and uh, when the ball is going to be in at my hand, he's telling me where to be when I'm off the ball, he's telling me where to be. So it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, explanatory what, what he's doing. Hey, Brandon, uh, Christian Clark with NOLA.com. And, and just to kind of follow up on that, um, you know, last year you played a lot of power forward. That was you know, a lot because of the injury issues, but do, do you think, I mean, do you have any sense of the types of shots you get this year? Like, do you anticipate them being different types of shots than, than you were shooting last year? Well, I think it all depends on me. I mean, I, I, I'm the one that created shots or, yeah. or go off the actions. Um, but I, I, he he knows my game. Uh, I think he before he came here, he studied my game. His offensive coach studied study my game and he just uh, put me, he's putting me in a good position where I can just do everything that I normally do. Uh, of course, uh, they want me to shoot more threes and uh, they're comfortable with me shooting more threes. So um, I'm, I'm doing everything on the basketball floor. I know where my shots are going to come from. Uh, I know how to create my own shots. So uh, it's, like I said, it's been easy. Brandon, it's uh, Scott Kusher with NOLA.com. You mentioned when you, uh, you know, a week or so ago that when you signed that that contract, you did feel a little bit more ownership uh, of this team. You felt a little more comfortable. Have you noticed yourself through a few days of practice being more vocal, being more um, of a kind of a, a leader of this group? How do you how has it kind of translated to the court now that you had an opportunity to do that? Just feel good. I feel good uh, communicating. Um, noticing that communication it helps our team out a lot, especially putting guys in the right spot. Uh, of course, all of us can get better with communicating, but that's a big emphasis for staying, communicating to our guys, putting them in the right spot. And, and it makes all of us. It's not only me. It's, it's pretty much everybody in the room that's talking. So it, it's just comfortable for all of us. Hey, Brandon, it's uh, Andrew from ESPN. Um, glad to see you found your hair braider. Got that... Uh, taken care of for before picture day yesterday. Uh, how have you seen these uh, the guards start to pick up their communication? I know you talked about that, but I know Stan was kind of talking about how he almost needed to to stop talking a little bit um, to let those guys kind of pick it up more. Have you noticed that more in the last couple of days? I haven't noticed that. <laughs> I've noticed Stan talking a lot. Uh, <laughs> I think he, he's just building foundation at this point. He's talking right now, so he so soon he can give the keys to the guards for him to know everything and know the places they're supposed to be in, and they can be confident in their talking and telling other people where to go. So uh, he's he's basically just telling everybody the way to communicate, the way to talk, so it'll be easier for our other teammates. So he's been doing a lot of talking, but I think he's doing it so the guys can eventually just still stand and shut up, and and they just talk. What's up, Brian? Mark Spears from uh, ESPN's Undefeated. Um, wanted to ask you that there, there's a couple coaches in the league, in, in terms of white coaches that are woke, like Steve Kerr and Greg Popovich, and now you guys have one in Stan Van Gundy. Um, what does it mean to you to have a coach that will stand up for for black rights and stand up against what is what is wrong? Well, it feels good to have a coach that's true to himself. Uh, doesn't change or waver for anybody. Same person every single day. So um, it, he stands for that. Uh, we're completely behind him. He stands for equality, or he, basically he just stands for the right thing. He wants the right thing to go on. So I, I can see everything behind that. And uh, we, we totally respect Stan for that. And also, uh, when you first heard he got hired, what, what's the difference between what you thought? about him before when he got hired to what you know about him now? Uh, when he got hired, um, 
all all we know is um, he's gonna uh, be really really loud every day. Um, he's gonna get the best out of everybody. And I mean that was my only impression that he was just gonna get the best out of everybody. I didn't know how he coached. I didn't know anything, but <clears throat> from seeing him coach today and, and previous days, uh, I mean I like it. He gets the best out of everybody. If you see something wrong, you're gonna stop every play in, in between playing. Uh, but he, he just makes sure that everything is right. And, and I mean, it's been good. Everything is really coached, every every single thing, every single thing from the defensive end, offensive end, pick a roll, whatever it is, every single thing is coached. Thank you. Hey, B.I., you just mentioned how, you know, the team wants you to, the coaching staff wants you to take more threes this season. You went from 1.8 attempts the previous season to 6.2 per game last season I mean how much more do you think you could bump that up and I mean are you just comfortable just taking you know even even more than you took last year which seemed like a lot but you shot such a good percentage at that rate I mean I don't know I, um, whatever whatever is going is going if I'm in the mid-range and I'm knocking mid-range down all night I'm, I'm not coming out of mid-range if I make five threes I'm gonna shoot ten threes whatever it is or whatever I'm feeling that night and whatever confidence my teammates has in me and whatever confidence that I have in shooting the basketball, then and I'm going to keep letting it fly. I like to score the basketball. I think it's, it's, it's pretty easy for me to score the basketball. Uh, so um, I'm going to shoot how many of them that I feel. I feel. Did, you, uh, did you feel like you had kind of a good mix last year? I know people have talked about this and you've talked about this yourself about just being dangerous from all different levels of, of the court. I mean, did you feel like you had, not to say that it won't change this year, but you had a good mix as far as um, just being effective everywhere, mid-range, getting to the basket, and obviously shooting threes at almost 40%. I mean, I, I could have shot the ball at three a little bit better. I could have got to the basket. I think in previous years, I, I've gotten to the basket a little bit more. Um, but I, I just plan to, to play the game how the defense is playing me. Um, knowing that I have confidence on all three levels, whether it's shooting the ball from the three-pointer, from the mid-range, or getting to the basket. Uh, I'm just going to take whatever the defense gives me, and if they give me going to the basket, if they leave my teammates open, then it's a pass to my teammates, and I'm going to just play the game easy. Sure. Hey, uh, Christian Clark, just one more real quick. Um, you know, I think six full days of practice under your belt with, with Stan and everything, um, I know there's a lot to take in, but how ready do you guys feel to – you know, play a game in, in two days. I know it's just a preseason, but how ready do you feel to do that? Uh, well, as you see, we've been beating on each other uh, for six days. <laughs> so uh, I think we're we're ready to uh, go against somebody else. It's always fun at this point, but we're going to training camp and we're going up and down every single day and getting the best out of each other. So we see how where we're at right now with another team and we continue to work. The eye good? Yeah, I've been hit, hit here before, so it'll uh, it'll heal sooner. Right? 